Hello, I'm going to demonstrate an uh, Cisco ASA firewall with uh, ASTM. The there's a few steps we're going to do to configure it and let the ASTM run through web interface. The first thing is um, we need to assign IP addresses to the interface, configure the IP addresses to the interface, and um, the configuration of IP addresses to this interface is pretty easy. As the same as that, like we configure in a router, we assign an IP address and then power it up. And then we have two other uh, um, other configurations we have to type in, in and that's then uh, we need to give a name to the interface and assign a security label to, to it. The security level is from 0 to 100. The next step is if um, if your firewall is shipped with, uh, with ASTM pre-installed, then you can skip this step. Otherwise, you need to download the ASTM image and copy it to the disk zero or the flash card of memory. To copying the flash is pretty easy too. It's just copy from TFTP server to the flash, and then you follow the steps. The third step is we need to enable the support of ASTM, enable the HTTP server support on the server on the firewall. The other one is define the addresses which we are allowed to use the web browser to access the ASTM. In my case, I have a one just one host allowed to access the ASTM through web interface and assign the 32-bit mask of ad mask address. And finally, we need to configure the firewall to allow to load. Um, the ASTM image on the next reboot that, uh, using the issuing the command ASTM image flash that means ASTM the image is based on the flash and the image name is ASTM.bin l641.bin now let's pop into the um, router and try to configure these steps Now I'm in the router interface. By default, STM have no password, so you can just press enter to get into the password. Then, and um, let's all run, and we see that we don't have any interface configured. The only interfaces are not configured uh, at the moment. And um, there is a default uh, configuration of ASTM. Um, so we'll just go to the co uh, configuration mode to configure the interface. Let's say config T. And um, I just go say no to the enable, uh, enabling an anonymous error reporting. Configuring the interface is fire configuring the router, get into the interface, name it, name if, using the name if I'm using the management, uh, calling it management interface. Um, uh, an interface is, as you, know, as you all know, is um, to have a security label of zero. For any interface you configure it with uh, other than uh, um, inside interface will get a uh, security level of zero. The inside will get a security level of 100 by default. Um, the security level, if you want to override this security level as zeros, you can use the security level command and then specify the level of here with the zero. Let's go and um, assign the IP addresses to the interface. 161, 192, 168, 1.1 .1 is 224-bit address and then power it up. And I'm gonna ping the other side to see if it's, um, all my strings is working. So, and as you can see, as I can ping my server on the other side, so it's okay, the host is working. My uh, configuration is complete. Let's pop in the, uh, to the flash and see, as you can see here, we don't have any flash on any ASTM Instead, so my uh, the, uh, firewall is, doesn't have any pre-installed uh, ASA. Um, now let's go and copy, use the, um, uh, copy the image to the flash card. Let's exit out of here. Issue the copy from TFTP to flash. Gets enter. Asking address of the remote host that my TFTP server. I'm just typing my TFTP server 192.168.1.10 then we just ping it and the source file name just uh, paste it here astm.bin the destination astm.bin yeah press enter and uh, just post the physio uh, until the copy is finished so the uh, then so let's confirm that we do have 
the, on the flash, the STM file, and here we go. We have the STM file. Uh, STM file is on the flash. Now let's enable the HTTP server support on the firewall by issuing the HTTP server enable and as, uh, define the, the IP addresses that are allowed access to this interface. By HTTP, I'm, I'm gonna um, allow only my host, only one host here, so 192.168.1.10 with 32 bits of address. And assigned, I'm saying this is, if it is coming from the management interface. Let's, uh, I'm just a quick make and um, check if there's any username and password. Yeah, I did a file sign. Uh, the username is Bigafi and password is Woogly Boogly. Now, the final steps is from the, um, by the next real boot, just load the ASTM image by typing ASTM image. It's from the flash, and the image name is ASTM641.bin. As we can see it from the top here. Um, the running configuration and then reload the up when I pause until the reload is finished. It is now rebooted and let's uh, uh, get a browser and type in the address of the server 192.168.1.1. .1. This is the ASTM, um, the ASTM page. We can install it or, or run it as a web browser. I'm going to start it, authenticate with the server, save the file, and then install. And installation is uh, pretty easy. Just press uh, pressing next, next, next until the installation is finished. Run the program now. Now wait, uh, when it finish, when we wait until the program is uh, powered over again. Here we go, on and we type in the IP address of the server, authentication, login details, the password, and press OK. Here we have a, um, an error, an, 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 unable to uh, launch the device manager from this web device. Because it is based on a um, web on a Java web browser, we have an issue with the Java. It's not we do have a connection, we don't have anything, but we, the issue is with the Java applet. So for this, we need to go to the Java um, uh, control panel and then specify the address, the IP address of 192.168.1.1 as a trusted um, as a trusted IP address. This we can see if you if you open the Java applet Logan, you can see that we, it's not able to get in uh, because it's not trusted. So press in the t security type and then type in the address and don't forget to uh, port number. The HTTP port is 442. I'm connecting to HTTP tour and make sure that it's uh, listed in the exception list. Now let's try it again. Bring a br uh, browser. Type in the IP address 192.168.1.1. Press enter, and um, let's run from the web browser. Java applets, and then OK. Login. Your details. OK. And as you can see now, it's loading the software. وأختم إخوتي في الله عن بحديث رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عندما خرج رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من بيت السيدة جويرية أم المؤمنين ثم رجع إليها بعد بعدما تعالى الليل تعالى النهار وهي جالسة في مصلاها فقال لها لم لم تزال لم تزال في مجلسك هذا قالت نعم فقال النبي صلى الله صلى الله عليه وسلم 
لقد قلت بعدك أربع كلمات ثلاث مرات لو وزن بجميع ما قلت لو نزلتهن فهي سبحان الله وبحمده عدد خلقه رضا نفسه زنة عرشه ومداد كلماته